YouTube, it's Jay Jufi. Now back with another very exciting food review. Can you dig it? Today, I'm reviewing, of course, another Walmart food item straight from their deli. This is the market side roast beef and cheddar sub, made fresh in store daily. It says right here, this is a rustic French loaf loaded with generous slices of roast beef and sharp cheddar cheese for a hearty sandwich featuring genuine. Prima Della meats and cheese is rustic French loaf bread and it's only $4.98 but make sure you check the date I bought it today so you make sure you use it on the same day or freeze it by then this net weight one that one pound 16 ounce and there's not much going on maybe some of the ingredients right there and the other offerings as you saw in the earlier footage they have the turkey and Kobe Jack, also the Italian hero and the All American Grinder. And it looks like it's properly wrapped, sealed up in a nice little deli bag. We'll put that to the side. And let's check out the bread itself. It's looking almost like Jimmy John's bread, except it has this these uh, texture marks on there. This is the white bread, and you have like. Two pieces of romaine lettuce looks like, um, not the f not the freshest, but you know it's not stale looking. Three slices of thin tomatoes. You got four slices of American cheese looks like going on. Let's see what is hiding underneath that stuff. You got uh, many pieces of sliced roast beef. Let's look at the texture of it. If I can just turn this. All right, here we go. And by the way, my hand is clean. You know. Just got done working out at the gym. A lot of biceps and tricep workouts. Mm, look at that. The texture of the roast beef looks okay. I mean, it's nothing spectacular. And the bottom of the bread, it's looking a little bit wet, but I mean, it's not a bad price. Let's give it a go, shall we? Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. We gotta measure this. See what's the length of this? So this is about oh yeah, it's over 12 inches. So it's about 12 and a half inches. We call that even. Not bad, not bad. So what I'm gonna do is um, you know what? I'm gonna cut it in half, eat it half like it is cold, and eat it half after it's been microwaved. Here we go, right down the center. This is the cross section of it. Here we go. So my first impression is that it's pretty unspectacular. <laughs> Nothing really popped out. The cheese the bread was just too, mm, just too bland, and the roast beef is, it's as if I didn't really taste any. <laughs> so this tastes like like those cheap, cheap you know thinly sliced meat that you get from like any grocery store, let's say Kroger brand or whatever local brand that you have. I don't know, maybe if I warm it up, it'll taste better. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about one minute. All right, this. It's straight out of the microwave for 45 seconds on high. See the melted cheese. Hopefully this will taste better. Open your mouth. I have to admit, it's slightly better. On the cold portion, I was gonna give it any, somewhere around like 75%. But when you warm it up, it actually tastes kind of decent. But still kind of like around C plus, I would give it 78%. So overall, it's not a bad deal, but it's not the best. It's not going to be the best sub you're going to get, not even comparable to Subway's. So I guess when it comes to sub sandwiches, you just have to go get a freshly made, you know, whether, whether it be Quiznos, Subway, Jersey, Mike's, or of course my favorite, Jimmy John's. So on a scale of 100%, like I had mentioned, 75, 78. Don't forget, eat hard, but work harder, baby.